bit about the future uh, because um, we know exactly what happened, but we also know that a lot of things happening in between German and Israel in terms of the social, and a lot of young generation are actually coming back to Germany. We are talking usually about the tech ecosystem and Israel as a startup nation and Berlin as the next Silicon Valley of Europe. Of course, I was born in Tel Aviv, but when I came to Berlin, I felt quite the same. Like I was born in Berlin and there's so much history for me to learn in Germany. Only when I came to Berlin, I actually find out and dig really deeply into the family story. And I even find out only living in Berlin that my grandfather, the Budapest one, he was in uh, fourth labor in Siemens in Sachsenhausen. So coming to Berlin and so I'm living the past or I live in the future. That, that was a very uh, big discussion inside myself. Um, so mission number one, it's actually to make Berlin my Tel Aviv. So I build up an organization together with, uh, of course, team and partner, and uh, it's called Women's Influencer, and the concept was, like I did in New York and Silicon Valley before that, it's to build a network for professional women. And uh, it's very important for me um, to build a bridge. When I came here and I started to build an ecosystem, I understood immediately that I'm bridging both countries. In some point, when I started to be very, very connected and diving into the ecosystem, without even understanding, now I understand that, I became kind of like ambassador for Berlin. I was an entrepreneur in Israel, but I came to Germany, and I saw heaven for entrepreneurs. There's tons of support from the government. There's tons of public money. And here in Israel, when we need to grow up our startup or company, we also need to go outside to China and also to America to bring the investors. So what I see here and what we all see here, that we have a lot of Mittelstand, we have a lot of corporates, the, 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 the economy is very strong. So what we are doing right now is working very hard with the M&A department and really strong corporates to make them understand how they can support the next generation with investing into the technology, investing into startups. So we need to do a lot of things to fight the global competition and to make Germany, um, I would say, strong into the startup scene as well. Um, so definitely we are shaping the, the, the tech ecosystem in Germany, not alone with a lot of uh, corporates and supporters. And uh, isn't it wonderful, uh, Mali, as, a, as an Israeli promoting Berlin and me as a German promoting Tel Aviv and Jerusalem? This is a, a quote from uh, Philip, senior vice president. In two days in Israel, I saw more opportunities than in one year in the rest of the world. So recently I uh, saw statistics that the 10 biggest uh, companies, tech companies in the world, including American and Chinese companies, all have um, a presence in Israel and not just a representation, but they are doing critical R&D, which is um, yeah, uh, critical for the future of their business. And a lot of achievements, which we attribute to Google or Intel or Facebook, actually they come from Israel. And uh, so practical steps, uh, no matter your, uh, your field of expertise, there's always something to learn from Israel and to, to get um, into the scene and to make friends. I mean, I was in Israel for one week on a holiday, but I still had like business meetings because they are not only business um, connections, but they are friends. And um, I will always say that show up and invest in the community and uh, eventually it will come back. So just be open, invest and uh, give and uh, not to expect something back, but just invest and give. And uh, this way, I believe, long time friendships are built. Thank you.